Hello friends, I would be discussing an important topic for the NEAT PG that is inflammasome. Inflammasome is formed in the innate immunity. What is innate immunity? It is the first line of defense of the body to any organism. This innate immunity destroys the unwanted microbolecules which can be derived from outside the body that is any microbes which attack the body or they destroy the unwanted molecules which are present inside the body as a response to this microbes that is the dead or the necrotic cells. So this innate immunity plays an important role to destroy this unwanted micromolecules. To do this, it has got the pattern recognition receptors which recognize these unwanted micromolecules. These pattern recognition receptors, they are present where the microbes can be present. That is, they can be present on the cell membrane on the cell membrane, you will have the C type lectin receptors. We have the tall like receptors. These two are present on plasma membranes and they recognize the extracellular microbes. Then in the cytoplasm also, we have the different receptors which recognize the ingested and the intracellular microbes. This include the nod-like receptors and the rig-like receptors. All these receptors recognize this unwanted micromolecules and which help us to destroy the uh, them. These tall-like receptors, they are the best defined receptors. They are Tall-like receptors, they are of 11 types. Tall-like receptor 1 and 2, they recognize the gram-positive bacteria. What happens in the cell when this tall-like receptor, they encounter this gram-positive bacteria? What happens? They send the signal transduction proteins to the nucleus and nucleus synthesizes the kappa, beta, and also the cytokines and these cytokines kill this gram positive bacteria. Then tall like receptor 3, it recognizes the viral DNA. So what does it do? As you know, virus doesn't have its own DNA, it utilizes the host DNA to multiply. So what happens when the viruses bind this tall like receptor? They again send the signal to the nucleus and what does it causes? It causes the production of the interferons and these interferons, what do they cause? They inhibit this integration and they inhibit the multiplication of DNA both of the viruses as well as the host and cur curbing the infection. The tall like receptor for uh, acts on the gram-negative endotoxins. These tall-like receptors, they are present on the epithelium and the antigen-presenting cells. Antigen-presenting cells include the Langhan cells or the dendritic cells. They include the macrophages and also the B cells. Now, the other type of receptors which were there the C type receptors, they recognize, what do they recognize? They recognize the fungus. The rig like receptors, they recognize the various viruses. The not like receptors, they recognize variety of things. That is, they recognize the flagellin component of the salmonella, the metabolic products, and also the ionic disturbances. All these are recognized by this nod-like receptor. That is the flagellin, the metabolic byproducts like uric acid and also the ionic disturbances.
they all are recognized with the uh, are by the not like receptor which are present intracytoplasmic when these are they combine any of these combined with this not like receptor what happens it gets activated this not like receptor when it is activated it combines with the adapter protein and also the pro caspase 1 all these combine to form a multi protein complex which is known as the inflammasome so this is the inflammasome that is activated nod like receptor adapter protein and pro caspase 1 this inflammasome converts this pro caspase 1 into the active caspase 1 and this active caspase 1 acts upon the pro interleukin 1 to convert it into interleukin 1 and this interleukin 1 is the major mediator of the acute inflammation clear what happens in the formation of the inflammasome so this is how inflammasome acts now there are some diseases which can be caused by this nod like receptor these are auto inflammatory syndromes or the periodic fever syndromes which are caused due to gain of function mutation in the nod like receptor there are other diseases whose pathophysiology has been now known because of this nod like receptor when uric acid is detected by this nod like receptors it leads to gout the type 2 diabetes develops when these receptors recognize the lipids and atherosclerosis is caused when these recognize the cholesterol so clear about this nod like receptors please subscribe to my channel and like my video and if you have any comments please let me